Try to imagine a world without electricity. It's harder than you think. Electricity powers many of the services that make our lives more convenient and enjoyable throughout the day. In fact, we've come to take electricity for granted, so much so that we tend to forget that electricity can be harmful. Electrocution is an ever-present danger. Even the simplest household tasks can put you at risk for electrocution, especially if your electrical wiring and appliances are outdated. Changing a light bulb without having isolated the circuit according to safety rules. Plugging an appliance into a damaged socket. Inserting a metal object into a toaster. Touching a damaged appliance cord or extension cord. Dropping an electric shaver or hair dryer into a bathtub full of water. These are just a few of the potential dangers found in your home. Traditional fuses or circuit breakers protect you from short circuits, but they cannot protect you from electrocution. However, residual current devices can. How do you know if you are protected? Check your electrical switchboard. A residual current device is easy to recognize thanks to its test button. If your switchboard is equipped with a device, make sure you test it regularly. How does it work? Electrocution is caused by leakage current too weak to be detected by a traditional circuit breaker. A residual current device can detect this type of current and immediately cuts off power to the circuit, so quickly in fact that you won't even have time to notice. Which circuits should be protected first? Residual current devices are required for all power sockets and all devices in bathrooms and other wet locations. Note that older electrical installations do not protect you from electrocution. The new, stricter standards only apply to new homes. If your electrical switchboard is not yet equipped with residual current devices, contact your electrician today.